Okay guys, so by now you've probably heard about the Mongol Town Center drop and it happening in the first age by many Mongol players. Now, while I have used this mechanic later on in the game, there are players that are just straight up rushing to dropping a Town Center in your base right out of the get-go in the Dark Age. And it is pretty much, if you don't completely try to counter it from the very beginning, uh, extremely hard to stop. Uh, but this is an example of a game where I was able to uh, stop the Mongol Town Center rush. Uh, I had played this guy uh, in the previous game and knew it was coming. So I decided to throw everything I had at uh, to take it out. So I just want to show you how I was able to do it. And maybe you will be able to too. So I'm up against uh, Yodesla, uh, a known uh, TC dropper. What he's going to do is he's going to, re he's going to research a superior mobility uh, right here in the dark age and then he is going to uh, zoom his town center across and drop it right on top of me and it will you know thus then idle all my villagers and then he shows up with his horsemen and just tries to pick up uh, anything I have maybe uh, left but with this in mind um, I decided to open up with a barracks and I actually like to open up with a barracks when I'm playing these Mongol mirrors because a lot of players will, will open with horsemen and you can usually uh, you hard counter them with the spearmen uh, and be able to do some damage. But my idea was here, I wanted to get spearmen. So when I saw that town center coming, I would be able to uh, uh, start sieging it and be able to throw all my villagers and all of my spearmen on there um, as soon as possible. And if there's any horsemen running around, just be able to counter those. So that's precisely what you're going to see happen. So I'm going to speed this up. And uh, I'm going straight into producing times two spearmen. It costs 80 stone and then 60 food, 20 wood. So cheaper than uh, uh, the horsemen, of course. Um, and I'm just going around uh, and knowing this is coming. And you can see here's this speedy town center uh, heading out uh, on the map. Now, I would recommend the same for pretty much any civilization. If you want to counter this, open with a, an early barracks, train some spearmen. And when it shows up, start immediately sieging that town center. And what you can also do, which I don't do in this game, uh, uh, is you can garrison low HP units as they take Town Center fire as you're trying to siege. So then your Town Center gets an extra attack and you don't lose a unit. Okay, so he just got a speed boost. He was actually a little late to get his speed boost, but uh, I'm starting to siege it. Um, obviously not going to kill it quite yet, and I know this is coming. Uh, I kind of panicked and built a tower, but I think it was uh, actually very useless. I, I would rather have just... Uh, either built a second barracks or just uh, throwing these villagers on sieging earlier. Okay, so here we go. This is in real time. Uh, here's his town center. I've got at this point six spearmen. Uh, actually, is that total, total? Yes, eight spearmen. And I've got 14 villagers of which I'm going to start sieging. I, I wish these villagers were actually already sieging rather than building this tower. That's really not going to do anything. Um, and basically, uh, at this point, he doesn't have anything garrisoned since he sped this from across the map. Um, and. Uh, he's just not gonna be able to do enough damage to these villagers uh, it, But by the time I've got this elder siege down and right now, he's obviously not producing villagers back at home He's got these few guys, um, but he doesn't have any villagers here And if he does produce villagers here, uh, my spearmen are just gonna attack them as soon as uh, he has to pack up um, Now one thing I could have been doing as I mentioned is as there's low HP units um you, I could like grab this one villager and and garrison him inside the town center. Um, and there you go. See, I've successfully stopped it. And uh, not gonna play the rest of this game out. But basically, from there, I'm just miles ahead. Um, you look at my economy. Uh, I'm sitting on 12 villagers. Uh, he's currently on eight villagers. Uh, and then I proceed to chase him across the map and uh, siege. Uh, start uh, to kill his cavalry. Start to siege down any of his buildings he has around here. And basically, could just play as greedy as I want. So. If you want to counter this uh, this kind of crazy Mongol push, all you need to do is build a barracks, get a bunch of spearmen, and immediately start sieging it when it comes into attack. Okay, I hope this guy help this helps you out, and let me know in the comments if you have been victimized by the Mongol Dark Age Town Center Rush. I'll see you guys in the next one.